Okay, so uh, from my previous videos and presentations, um, you should know that a uh, basic building-to-building Wi-Fi link, just a point-to-point -point setup, consists of an access point at one end and a bridge client at the other end. The only difference when you go to point to multi-point is that you've got multiple clients. Apart from that, the setup is pretty much identical. Okay, so let's go over the setup of a, a couple of MIMO juniors to show how easy it is to set up a link. Uh, as I've already said, what we're going to do is set up as one as an access point and one as a client. So I've got uh, one first of all connected to our network here. So I'm going to type in its default address of uh, 192.168.1 and uh, the default password is password so we'll type that in and log in okay so the first thing you want to do is change the IP address of this unit that is so when we uh, uh, finally get the two units on a link we don't want them to clash with each other so we'll just change this to the address uh, 192.168.1.168.2 so click on apply now it's saying we need to re-log in on the new address so we'll just click on there so the default password is password so we'll log in now what we're going to do is uh, do the basic uh, Wi-Fi setup so the first thing we need to do is uh, change it to the correct frequency band now uh, this unit I've got here is the 2.4 gig version of the unit so we need to set it up to use um, 11NBG like that and the next thing we need to do is set the country domain uh, to the UK so now we've done that we click on apply okay now what we need to do is we just need to change the uh, mode so we'll click on here and we'll change it to client mode as we pointed out one end is access point the other end is a client click on OK and now we have to reboot it so now the device is just rebooting okay so now the device has rebooted and automatically come back to the uh, login page we just log in and now just uh, check the settings to make sure they're all okay so yes we've got it as client mode and we've got it set to N, B and G so that's all we have to do for the client product so what I'm going to do now is just uh, disconnect this uh, this client unit and connect it to a remote, remote laptop okay so what I've done now is I've uh, disconnected the client from our network here and uh, connected to a remote PC and I've just connected another MIMO Junior unit to our network which of course will now be on its default address of uh, 168.168.1 and again default uh, password is password login so this is the second unit now which we're now going to configure as an access point so if we go to the uh, basic wireless setup as you can see the default mode is access point anyway so the only thing that we have to do here is we have to change it to um, uh, use the 2.4 gig frequency bands and we have to set the country to United Kingdom uh, and now we click and click on apply now in order for these uh, changes to have an effect we have to reboot the unit but what I'm going to do before I start it rebooting I'm just going to set up a ping from my computer here to that remote uh, laptop I mentioned which is on the address uh, 1.235 so we're just going to set that going uh, and then we can see when the link uh, is automatically created once this unit reboots so what we're going to do now is reboot this unit here so click on reboot system that's rebooting so say this is going to take about 30 seconds okay so bringing up the ping screen we can see the uh, pings going across to the remote notebook as it says this is going to take about 30 seconds so we need to patiently wait now for the units to reboot but once they uh, once this unit's rebooted then the link should automatically uh, be linked be created between the two units and we should see the pings start to happen
Okay, so in the background we can see that the unit has uh, now rebooted and uh, after a few seconds, uh, bingo, the pings start to happen. So now we have the pings going between the two units uh, to, the, uh, to the remote PC and that's all that's needed to set up these devices. If I go and log in here uh, now somewhere So if I go look at the statistics, we can see that it is uh, showing a link uh, to the remote station with a transmit rate of 104 uh, meg. And what I can also do is I can actually type in the address of the uh, remote unit, because of course that's now on this network, on the address 1.2 and I can look at the statistics of that uh, we can see that it's actually uh, sending data backwards and forwards no problem and if we go to the basic screen and look at the linking information we can see here it has a, um, a transfer rate of 108 meg uh, in operation and that's it